NBA teams are constantly changing up their rosters, with some players sticking around for longer than others. There have been players who have stayed with one team their entire career, and there are also players who have played in over 10 different teams. Today, I'll be ranking the longest tenured player on every NBA team from shortest to longest. Comment down below how long your favorite player has been with their team, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Starting off, we have the Houston Rockets with Jay Sean Tate as their longest tenured player. He was signed in November of 2020, meaning the Rockets haven't had a single player on their roster for more than three years at this point. Tate has averaged 11 points, 5 rebounds, and 3.5 and assists in his three seasons with the team. Next up, we got the Detroit Pistons with Killian Hayes, who was drafted by them in 2020. Similar to the Rockets, the Pistons don't have a single player who's played over three seasons with them. In his time with Detroit, Hayes has averaged 8 points, 3 rebounds, and 5 assists. Now we're adding another year with the Utah Jazz, who acquired Jordan Clarkson in a trade from the Cavaliers in December of 2019. In his four seasons with Utah, Clarkson has averaged 18 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 3 assists. He also won a 6 Man of the Year award with them in 2021. Fast forward a few months earlier to July of 2019 where the Oklahoma City Thunder signed Lou Dort to a two-way contract before eventually signing him for long term. Lou Dort made more of a name for himself in the bubble playing some amazing defense against the Rockets and dropping 30 points in a Game 7 loss. In his time with the Thunder, Dort has averaged 13.5 points with just under 4 rebounds and 2 assists. Moving up to the 2019 draft in June of that year, the San Antonio Spurs selected Kelvin Johnson with the 29th pick. He's averaging a career-high 22 points a game this season, but throughout his career has averaged 16 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 2 assists for them. Earlier in this draft, P.J. Washington was selected by the Charlotte Hornets with the 12th pick. Washington is also averaging a career-high this season with 15 a game, but throughout his career has averaged 12.5 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. Even earlier in this draft, the New Orleans Pelicans selected Zion Williamson with the first overall pick. Zion has unfortunately only been able to play 114 games with the team in 4 seasons. He's been an absolute monster when he's healthy though, averaging 26 points, 7 rebounds, and 3.5 and assists for them. He's also been named to 2 different All-Star games as well. Next on the list we have the Los Angeles Clippers who acquired Ivica Zubac in a trade back in February of 2019. In his time with the Clippers, Zubac has averaged 9.5 points, 8 rebounds, and assists in a block. This season, he's averaged a double-double with them and even had a 31-point, 29-rebound game earlier in the season. Heading over to the other LA team, the Lakers signed LeBron James in July of 2018 as a free agent. In his second season with the team, LeBron led the Lakers to their 17th championship winning finals MVP. Through five seasons with the team, he's averaged 27.5 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, and a steal. A month earlier than this, the New York Knicks selected Mitchell Robinson in the 2018 draft. Robinson has been a great rebounder and shot blocker throughout his career, averaging about 8 points, 8 rebounds, a steal, and 2 blocks while also claiming he's the best center in New York. Fast forward another calendar year to July 2017 where the Cleveland Cavaliers signed Chetty Osman. He is in his 6th season with the team and throughout his career has averaged 10 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists. Next on the list we have the Memphis Grizzlies who acquired Dylan Brooks in a trade in June of 2017. He was originally drafted by the Rockets but was traded to Memphis shortly after. Brooks is one of the better perimeter defenders in the league and has also averaged 14.5 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal during his career. We have another draft night trade with our next player being Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls. When the Timberwolves wanted to make a playoff push, they shipped out a younger Levine as part of a package for Jimmy Butler who they only ended up having for one season. Levine has been a scoring phenom for the Bulls, averaging 24.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and a steal. He's also made two all-star teams with Chicago. The next player here is someone I'm surprised is still with this team as his name is always thrown around in trade rumors. I'll give you a second to guess. It's Sean Collins with the Atlanta Hawks. Collins was drafted by the Hawks in the 2017 NBA Draft and has been a solid player throughout his entire career. He's averaged 16 points, 8 rebounds, 1.5 assists, and a block a game. Our next player has unfortunately been injured a lot in his time with this team and this is Jonathan Isaac with the Orlando Magic. Before his injuries, Isaac had showed some great potential, hence why the Magic have kept him around all this time. He's averaged 9 points, 5 rebounds, and assists a steal, and a block and a half a game for his career. He was taken with the sixth pick in the 2017 NBA Draft. Just one pick earlier than Isaac, De'Aaron Fox was selected by the Sacramento Kings. Throughout his six seasons, Fox has averaged 20 points, three and a half rebounds, and over six assists in a steal. Moving into July 2016, the Brooklyn Nets added Joe Harris from free agency. In his time with the Nets, Harris has averaged about 12 points, three and a half rebounds, and two assists. He was one of the best three-point shooters for a few years and had shot 44% from deep on over 5 attempts a game in his 7 years with Brooklyn. 
Going into the 2016 draft, the Toronto Raptors selected Pascal Siakam with the 27th pick. Siakam started off his career slow, but eventually became an integral part of the Raptors team that won it all in 2019. Now a two-time All-Star, Siakam has averaged 17 points, 6.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and a steal. In the 2015 draft, Devin Booker was selected by the Phoenix Suns with the 13th pick. Booker has been on a scoring rampage since entering the league. Throughout his time in Phoenix, he has gone to three All-Star games, averaging 24 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists during his career. Further up in this draft, the Indiana Pacers selected Miles Turner with the 11th pick. Turner has been one of the premier shot-blocking big men since entering the league. He has averaged about 13 points, 7 rebounds, and assists in 2.5 blocks. Even further up in this draft was Carl Anthony Towns, who was drafted with the first overall pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Towns is a 3-time All-Star and has put himself in the run running for best shooting big man of all time, making them over 39% of the time on over 4 attempts a game. Since being drafted, Towns has averaged about 23 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, and over a block. Moving on, we have a player who wasn't acquired through the draft. He was acquired by trade, and this is Dwight Powell with the Dallas Mavericks back in December of 2014. Powell has played 9 seasons for Dallas, averaging 7.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, and an assist. Skipping ahead to the 2014 NBA Draft, we have Nikola Jokic who was selected with the 41st overall pick. The Denver Nuggets got quite possibly the best draft value of all time with this pick considering how late Jokic was picked. He is now a 2-time MVP and a 5-time All-Star. During his career, he has averages of 20 points, 10.5 rebounds, 6.5 assists, and a steal. With the 6th pick in the 2014 draft, the Boston Celtics selected Marcus Smart who is the reigning defensive player of the year and has made 3 all-defense teams. Smart has put up 10.5 points, 3.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and a steal and a half. Joel Embiid was selected with the first pick in this draft by the Philadelphia 76ers. Embiid missed the first two seasons of his career due to injury, but once he started playing, he made an instant impact. Embiid is a six-time All-Star and four-time All-NBA player, even winning the scoring title last season. Throughout his career, he's averaged 27 points, 11 rebounds, 3.5 assists, a steal, and a block and a half. For the 2013 draft, two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks with a 15th pick. Giannis is a seven-time All-Star, six-time All-NBA, Defensive Player of the Year, five-time All-Defensive Team, and Finals MVP on top of the two MVPs I previously mentioned. Giannis has averaged 22.5 points, 9.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and a steal and a block. Some of these numbers would be a lot higher if it weren't for the first few seasons of his career. In the draft a year earlier, Damian Lillard was selected by the Portland Trailblazers with the 6th overall pick. Dame is a 7-time All-Star and 6-time All-NBA player. During his career in Portland, Dame has stayed very loyal despite several unfortunate playoff defeats. He has averages of 25 points, 4 rebounds, 6.5 assists, and a steal a game for his career. Three picks earlier in the 2012 draft, Bradley Beal was selected by the Washington Wizards. Beal is another player who has stayed loyal to one team throughout his whole career. Beal is a three-time All-Star and one-time All-NBA with averages of 22 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal for his career. Going ahead another three years, we have the player who's been with the team for the second longest time out of anyone in the NBA, and this is Steph Curry, who was drafted by the Golden State Warriors all the way back in June of 2009. Curry has had a storied NBA career in which he's made 9 All-Star and 8 All-NBA teams, won 2 MVPs, 4 rings, and a Finals MVP. Throughout his time with the Warriors, Steph has put up averages of 24.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, 6.5 assists, and a steal and a half. He also has made over 42% of his threes on nearly 9 attempts a game throughout his career. Now, the current player who has spent the most time with one team by far is Udonis Haslam with the Miami Heat, joining them back in August of 2003 through free agency. Haslam has been more of a coach than a player these past few seasons, but he has been an active member on the roster. He also just announced his retirement will come following the season, so shout out to him for a great career in which he was a three-time NBA champ, averaging 7.5 points, 6.5 rebounds, and an assist. This concludes the list of every NBA team's longest tenured player. Be sure to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, click one of the two videos popping up now.